What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. The Pokemon Events series, I guess? I don't even know. <laughs> Anywho guys, two years in the making, we are finally back in Pokemon Platinum and in today's episode we are going to be doing the Rotom Pokemon Event. If you guys don't remember, Rotom is a, I guess you could say it's a, it's a semi-legendary Pokemon that kind of uh, gets trapped in technology or anything like that. As many of you guys would already know, later on, Rotom would be uh, essential to pretty much anything Pokemon, such as like the PC, the Pokedex, hell, even bikes, the whole shebang, yeah. So, this event only happens... In, well, this in-game event only happens at night time, and this is probably like after you defeat the Elite Four. So all we have to do now is we have to go straight back to the Eterna Forest, and I am trying not to battle any of these guys, because remember guys, cheated my way to get to passing all this game, and now we have to get to the Eterna Forest, and look who is there. Hiya! Were you intrigued by the rumors going around too? You know, people... People uh, people have been uh, talking about Ghost Pokemon of the old Chitao. I've been uh, hearing rumors about Sinister Shadows too. I should check it out myself, but I'm going. Uh, but going in there is uh, well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, <laughs> I'm always busy. So since I'm busy, I can't go in. It's not that I'm uh, uh, scared. So good luck to your investigation. Gee, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I thought gym leaders were supposed to be uh, strong or anything like that. But anywho, make sure to have a Pokemon with Cut. As you can see, I have Rosemon with me. And make sure to have a lot of repels, as many of you guys already know. Yes, I got a lot of repels. And yes, in uh, off screen, I actually evolved uh, Rosemon all the way to its final evolution just so we can get to this, this uh, particular event right here. So we're going to go straight for a max repair or repel. And. The Pokemon that will be taking center stage will be Rosemon, and Smoke will be right there, just right behind it, just in case. Because this Pokemon right here is going to be is going to be at, at a lower level than anything. And now I think I've already gotten all these items while I was actually doing this walkthrough, so there's no need for me to do anything like that. So again, this only happens at nighttime, guys. So just make sure just make sure to just make sure to uh, be aware of that. Second thing too is that you have to go here where the TV is uh, lit up. Again, nighttime. Look at this inside TV. There appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears as if it will come out. You wanted to dump it out? Not yet. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and yes, let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and thump at that Pokemon. And bam! Look at that, guys. Okay, so here's Rotom, the legendary, semi legendary electric type Pokemon right here. And Rosemon being fully evolved and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and stun spore this Pokemon right here. Look at that. Okay, so this Pokemon is not going anywhere. And, well, let's see. Double team. Loves to do the double team and all that crud, so let's see. What, 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 what can we do to actually get this Pokemon to actually get hit? Let's go with a Giga Drain. And Giga Drain. Will it do it? Can it do it? Uh, and it. Yes. Okay, so Rotom is there, ready for the taking, and we're going to get an uproar right there. So let's see. Let's go right ahead and start throwing a Pokeball at it. Let's see. Let's see, I got thousands of Pokeballs right here now. You know what? Let's go straight for an Ultra Ball. There's no need to use a Master Ball for this particular Pokemon right here. Okay, alrighty, come on. Stay in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! And throwing out the peace sign. Yes, sir. I am throwing out that peace sign. Okay! As many of you guys already know, I do have the complete list of Pokemon on, on my... Uh, on my Pokedex, so let's get the heck out of here, and then I'll show you what's up, okay? Yeah, do not like this place at all. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Really? Holy crud! Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. This place is haunted as heck, and let's go. Let's get let's get out of here. Seriously, this is uh, again. It's giving me the giving me the heebie-jeebies. And I wonder if we can use an escape rope from here. No, we can't use an escape rope here. Dang it! Okay, so the good thing is that we do have cut, and we can get the heck out of here. 
And, well, yeah, let's use a bike right here. So, yeah, guys, I already have... If you guys are just tuning into this walkthrough right here, or this portion of the walkthrough, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, took two years off, and, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, so, let's go ahead and take a look at that Pokedex entry. And, as many of you guys remember, last episode, I, I checked up on another Pokemon right here, which was Darkrai. This guy was a pretty tough Pokemon to actually try and capture. So, let's go ahead and search for a Pokemon right here. Name... And it is a Rotom. So let's go ahead and press that. And as you can see, here are the Pokemon that I have not captured. But it says I captured. And we're going to have to go all the way down. Like, literally all the way down. And here we have Rotom, the Plasma Pokemon. It is both Electric and Ghost. And its electric-like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief. That is so true. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys because it is not the end of this episode right here. There's still one more thing that we need to do. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys. Now, the second portion of this whole event is the event itself. I'm going to press the buttons. Now, the code will be on the description down below. All you have to do now is you have to go straight to the uh, Pokemon, the Pokemart, and you will find an individual waiting for you right there, and the repel has worn off. And this guy right here, he's like, you must be Draven, and here's a gift! We get ourselves a secret key, and what does the secret key do? Anyways, I just want to know. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this secret key entails. So let's go right here, all the way back down. And the secret key is a high-tech key that has to be used at a specific location. It emits a special electric signal to open a door. Oh. Now, it, it, it's, it's, not that, it's not that complicated, guys. It is right here in the very first, uh, what was it called? Uh, Team Galactic HQ. So again, make sure to have a Pokemon that knows cut. And all you have to do right now is go straight to this corner right here. And you will be able to find yourself something. Click on that, use the secret key, and bam! You have a secret room. Going into this secret room, you're going to be finding yourself five different types of machines. Rotom, like I said before, is going to become essential later on into Pokemon games where the Pokédex, the PC, the bikes, it gets in there and it becomes a much more helpful Pokemon. So now, as you can see, if you do have Rotom on your team, make sure, I, I want to say put them on the very first part right here. This will actually help it change its, uh, its form. It's a microwave oven, it's an odd shaped motor in it. Oh, Rotom seems to, wants to go into the motor, allow it to go into the motor. And it's trying to learn overheat. So if you if you go into the well, if you go into that the little oven right there, it's gonna turn into a fire and ghost type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and take away uproar. Right here. Yes. One, two, and three. And bam. And there we go. We got an overheat. And if you go into your Pokemon team, well, let's see. Ah, imagine finding you here. You must be eager to fill your Pokedex and be searching even here. What am I doing? I visit prof uh, a, I visit a prof or a professor I know in a turn out every so often. He tells me intriguing rumors of a rare Pokemon sightings and such. Hmm. A Pokemon that slips into electric appliances, you say? Hmm. That is somewhat off from what I, I've heard about. Hmm. This is what I've heard. Long ago, there was a Pokemon that merged with a toy robot. Should that Pokemon be recognized as a new species or not? Debates over the issue were about to start when they were rendered moot. The very topic of discussion, the Pokemon-infused robot disappeared. Anyway, this Rotom, what interesting Pokemon. So you say it enters appliances and it essentially merges with a device. In the process, it may also learn new moves. In a way, I suppose it could be taught of a, it could be thought of as a mechanical Pokemon. Hmm. Though it is utterly unique, it is undeniably a form of Pokemon. Fine, fine, so be it. No matter how old one gets, there will always be new Pokemon discoveries. Take care, Draven. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at this new Rotom. As you can see, it changed its form, and it is now a Fire-type Pokemon, where it can 
it can it, 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 it learned a fire type move now if you click on this one right here Rotom wants to appear let's go right ahead and it wants to learn a new move I think no it doesn't but it changes its form right here as you can see now it's become the appliance that is actually entered it becomes a fan holy crud and it now or now it now take like the new move that it's supposed to learn takes the place of the move that you know you pretty much uh, you pretty much learned uh, at the very beginning so I learned air slash let's go right here into this big old refrigerator and let's go ahead and take a look at what it will become what kind of move does it learn it becomes a big old refrigerator obviously it's gonna be an ice type Pokemon and the new move it learned is blizzard it's a pretty pretty darn good move right there you go into this washing machine obviously it's going to be a water type Pokemon so let's go right ahead and see what kind of move it learns from there and let's see here we have Rotom a water type Pokemon so it's gonna learn hydro pump and finally it's gonna become a lawnmower so let's go ahead and see what this lawnmower does and let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of moves it learns so here it is lawnmower form and here we have leaf storm so it is learning some it's definitely learning some pretty good moves right here and uh, hopefully you know well I don't think I'll be able to use this there's a mysterious notebook here it's age impossibly to tell or impossible to tell it was by pure chance that I obtained information about Pokemon Rotom remarkably Rotom has the ability to enter and merge special motors it's now known that Rotom can stay inside motors almost indefinitely. However, it will, emer it will emerge if it enters a union room or a Wi-Fi club. Rotom will also emerge from the motor if it's left in a daycare. Rotom may also forget certain moves when it leaves the motor. This Pokemon requires exhaustive, is obser or exhaustive observation and analysis. To ensure I get all the credit, my Pokemon research must be kept secret. They will be, they will be, uh, they will come to recognize me as the scientific genius Char. The rest of the notebook is blank. So obviously it is uh, one of the Team Galactic members. The one that tried to take over Team Galactic after, what's his face, uh, Cyrus left right there. So that is pretty much it for these, the Rotom event, guys. It's pretty cool. Like I said, eventually Rotom does get into kind of the machines that we use in everyday life and all that crud. So, that is pretty much it for this event. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for the patience and all that stuff. In the next episode, I don't know what kind of event we're going to be doing, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be Chainman or something. I don't know. We will find out soon. So, thank you guys again. I will see you guys next time.